够了。Pull a palette from an image. Tap the disc, the top right, to open the color palette. Tap the cross, reveals the color options, and then you can choose New from Photo, which will open your gallery. And if you tap on one of the photos that you've got saved on your iPad. A new color palette from the image will appear. Name the palette to make it easier to locate. Tap the disc option below, and we can create pure white. So, if you drag the cursor to the edge and double tap, pure white will become available. And here you can just paint, paint with pure white. Obviously, to to pick other colours, just move the disc around, and it will change colour. To create a new palette, go to the palettes. Section and here you can choose to create a new palette. You can add colours to your new palette. So you go back to the disc. Here you can pick different colours that you'd like, and then tap in your new palette to create a new, a new colour palette. To remove colours, just tap and hold. And choose the delete option to get rid of them. Tap classic to choose the color value. So here you can、uh, change the values, say for different color tones. So you could stay within a color range. Again, you can create a new palette in the same way. Just keep tapping into that new palette that you created previously, and then you can easily delete them. Tap and hold, and the delete option will appear. Color harmonies explained. Complementary colors that are opposite each other on the color wheel, for example, red and green. Split complementary adds one other colour using the two colours adjacent to its complement. Analogues colour schemes that use colours that are next to each other on the colour wheel. They usually match well and create serene designs. Analog colour schemes are often found in nature and are considered harmonious. Triadic. Color scheme uses colors that are evenly spaced around the color wheel. Tetradic, four colors that are evenly spaced on the color wheel. Tetradic color schemes are bold and work best if you let one color be dominant and use the others as accents. To access the color harmonies, tap Harmonies, and at the top left you'll see the options. And here you can play around. So here we've got complementary, and you can create again the new harmonious color palettes that we did before. So just tap on, tap them, and add them to the color palette as you wish. So here we've got split complementary colours. So we've got three in little sets of three. You can create some interesting colour palettes. And then we've got the analogues, the triadic and tetradic. So the tetradic again. You can see the three, three options. 
move around with the similar values, colour values. And then the tetrad it gives you the four options. Again with the similar colour values. And again use one colour as the dominant and the others as accents. Tapping on values below gives you the option to enter hexadecimal codes for exact colour matching for professional printing projects. Here you can enter the codes for branded colours, you may be working on um, logos and things like that for, for, your, for your business or other businesses. Example, the five F's represents pure white so if you want a pure white just go in there and enter 5Fs and that'll give you pure white. And then when you're done selecting your colours you can just name, name a colour palette to keep, again, keep yourself organised. Here you could name the palette uh, to represent the logo or even you could use this colour palette to create um, collections, coordinating collections of designs for instance. And you could work with the same colours 